what's the best wheel cleaning brush? Well, you guys are going to find out in this video because behind me right now, I have a bunch of different brushes for cleaning wheels and tires. So I will be going over the features of each and every one of them. Also in this video, I'll be giving you some tips and tricks on how to make your future wheel cleaning routine a lot quicker and easier. And also in this video, I'll be sharing some tips and tricks on how to prevent that flash rust or surface rust from happening on your brake rotors when you're done washing your car. And we all hate that because that surface rust eventually when you're braking while it flies onto your wheels and onto your paintwork and it's absolutely disgusting. So it's a jam-packed video. Make sure to watch from the beginning all the way till the end and we're going to start right away. Uh, by the way guys, I'm going to leave links to all of these tools, the brushes and the products in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. So all you have to do as usual is sit back, relax and enjoy the show. So we're gonna first start by brushes to clean the wheels. So spoiler alert, there is no such thing as one brush that does it all. You need a different uh, a brush for different types of jobs that you're doing on your wheels and tires. And of course, it depends on the type of wheel that you're using. So today I'm gonna to go over uh, the ones in my collection, what I like to use, and of course explain when they're appropriate for use. So let's start right off with the first one, the uh, barrels, right? So the inner portions of your wheels, you need something to go in there and uh, one that I like a lot is this one here from Easy Detail. So this is the Easy Detail brush. Uh, they come in different lengths as you're gonna see. They make smaller versions as well. So depending on the uh, what kind of wheels you're using, if you have for example a motorcycle or a scooter with smaller wheels or a smaller vehicle, uh, this can be more appropriate. Or if you have bigger wheels and tires uh, like the majority of SUV owners or cars or big trucks, things like that, you're gonna have something like this. So why I like this one is because it can go behind big braking systems, like on my own um, Porsche 911 Turbo S uh, with the uh, huge wheels and of course big rotors and also those 10 piston calipers. To get behind the calipers, it's sometimes very hard if you have a thicker brush. So this one here, because it can contour and these nylon bristles can uh, bend very easily, you can easily access behind the brake calipers it comes with this rubber tip so it will not scratch the wheel finishes and also it has this knuckle guard here so when you have it in your hand it prevents your knuckles from hitting the, uh, the wheels so this is very good there's different variations of this that you guys will see in different colors like the uh, Speedmaster brush but here let me zoom in this is also made by easy detail so same type of brush same uh, ergonomics, same nylon bristles, same knuckle guard, and that kind of thing. There's this hole here, so you can hang it to let it air dry, depending on how you want to store it. Uh, but basically, these are great for the wheel barrels for reaching behind them. Now, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this if you have some high gloss black wheels, because we all know that uh, gloss black items, whether it's piano black trim uh, or gloss black wheels, they tend to uh, scratch or mar easily. So these could leave light marring. Uh, they're safe for pretty much all the wheel surfaces, especially if they're clear coated. But on the uh, gloss black wheels, I tend to prefer something that's made out of microfiber. So the uh, next brush in that case, or if you just want something that's as gentle as possible for your finish, is something like this here. This is the Wooly Wormit brush. I have, uh, by the way, a um, review on this. And the majority of these brushes you can see me use in a bunch of videos. This, by the way, a quick disclaimer, is not a sponsored video. Nobody paid for this video. Uh, I'm just sharing my thoughts with you guys. So this one here has kind of this microfiber jacket that you can replace. They have different colors. You can machine wash it as well. It comes with these uh, tabs so you can hang it once again. The cool thing here on the tip, it has a lug nut brush so you can clean your lug nuts. And the also other cool thing, you can bend this to reach behind your spokes, right? You can twist it and bend it as you want and you put it straight again. So this one here, because it has that microfiber jacket, it's super gentle. Microfibers are the gentlest type of fibers, of course, for use for automotive use. So it will not scratch or mar. And again, you can remove this to clean it if need be, have different colors uh, also. And uh, yeah, it's bendable and you can reach behind your uh, brake calipers. The only difference with this one, if you have big brakes or big rotors and big calipers, this might not be able to reach behind it. So that's why having a tool like this for that section is perhaps more appropriate. Now, another of my favorite brushes for the wheel barrels is by Microfiber Madness. This is the Incredi brush. And this is the flat version because if you can see here on the profile, it's a flat 
compared to the side here. So they have the normal round one, but this one here, again, I like because it can go behind a lot of the uh, brake calipers, not on the bigger brakes. So this one here won't fit behind my Porsche's uh, big brake system. Uh, but for the majority of the wheels, this is fantastic. Again, it has a microfiber jacket that you can remove off the brush to, uh, to clean it. It has kind of this springy, let me show you, there we go, this springy stem that you can also bend and it contours to the shape of the wheels. And uh, yeah, like anything Microfiber Madness does, very, very high quality uh, microfiber. The same type of microfiber that they have for their wash mitts that I absolutely like. And uh, so yeah, for the wheel barrels, this is fantastic because it won't scratch the finish. Now, we're done with cleaning the barrels. You're obviously gonna wanna clean the wheel faces. So for the wheel faces, there are different types of brushes available. If you want something that is very gentle on the surface, I like boar hair brush. Uh, so this one here, some natural fibers, as you can tell, it has some great ergonomics. So there's many different versions of this one. This one here is from Wheel Woolies, uh, but I think uh, there are other brands who make this kind of thing. Again, check the links in the description under the video, but very, very soft for the wheel faces and they just do a great job. Uh, once again, the handle, the ergonomics is very important. So you're gonna go and brush the wheel faces. Now, if you don't have delicate surfaces, uh, and you uh, just want a regular brush that's perhaps not perhaps not as expensive, there's these flag-tipped brushes that are good for cleaning wheels and tires. So for those of you who like a one brush does it all kind of thing. So these one here are a bit stiffer, uh, not recommended for gloss black wheels once again. Uh, but yeah, same types of ergonomics if you notice compared to the uh, boar hair brush. So almost the same size, almost the same length. So again, another one that I like. I like these flag tipped brushes uh, for use on your rubber floor mats. So you use a, a cleaner, an APC, a degreaser, whatever you guys use to clean your floor mats. But this one here, I like because it can get into the grooves, the nooks and crannies uh, of those uh, rubber floor mats and they do a great job at that. So for those of you who want multi-purpose type uses with their brushes, this is one to look at. Now, if you want, once again, the safest possible method to clean your wheel faces in general, well, microfiber. And Microfiber Madness thought about us, guys. They have the Incredi Flare. So what is this? This is their logo. So this is a mitt, basically, that comes with this finger. So you put your hand in it and you can reach behind the wheel spokes when you're cleaning your wheels. And this is as gentle as it gets because once again, it has that same cleaning technology. Let me show you here as their microfiber wash mitt, which I absolutely like. This is one of my favorite wash mitts to clean cars. So super plush microfibers. Well, they have that same tech in their Incredi Flare. So this once again is a mitt to clean your wheel faces and this is as gentle as it gets. So if you guys prefer brushes, you can use these. If you guys prefer to use a either a microfiber cloth for your wheel faces or a microfiber wash mitt, this one I really like. Once again, because of this thumb, you can reach behind the spokes and clean behind there. So you see, you have different options available depending on what type of work you're doing. Now, on your wheels, you obviously have lug nuts. What I like for lug nuts is using a detailing brush. So something like this, this is a boar hair brush or any type of detailing brush that you guys like. There are many brands out there, uh, but they come in different lengths, different colors usually. And these basically allow you to go into the lug nuts and basically brush around there so you can get a thorough clean. Uh, you, all the nooks and crannies, all the details are important, right? When we're detailing cars. So this is a part of that. And so we did the wheel barrels, we did the wheel faces, we did the lug nuts. So the next portion too is the tires. So for tires, typically you need uh, some stiffer nylon bristles or some stiffer bristles to get all that junk, that gunk and previous tire dressing off. So two of my favorite tire brushes is this one here. First of all, this is the Tough Shine tire brush. Been using this for years now. And uh, yeah, it's still durable. You just rinse it off when you're done cleaning your wheels and tires and that's it. Super zero maintenance. The ergonomics are very, very good on this one. And again, these bristles are perfect for scrubbing your tire sidewalls. And another one that I discovered more recently uh, that's distributed by Obsessed Garage, among other things, and some other brands, is this Detail Factory Tire Brush. So it improves a little bit on the design of the Tough Shine. First of all, as you can tell, it's a bit shorter, the Detail Factory Brush that I'm holding here. So the size of the head is almost the same. If we look at them from a profile, they have this contoured profile, so they look similar. But the bristles on the Detail Factory Brush are a bit softer 
allowing you to do perhaps a, a bit better job in the grooves for those more intricate designs in the tires, the logos, the lines, all that kind of stuff. More importantly, perhaps, is that they're lined with this rubber backing all over, right? So if you accidentally hit your wheel, there's no risks of damaging or scratching your wheel. So I like that. The ergonomics are very, very good as well. So I'm liking this a lot, by the way. So here it is, once again, the Detail Factory Tire Brush. And if we're talking about brushes, why not talk about the uh, application of a tire dressing? So when you're done cleaning your wheels and tires, it's fully dried off. Uh, you want to make the tires pop, of course, add a bit of UV protection, prevent cracking and fading over time, but just giving that overall detailed look. One of my favorite things or tire dressing applicators is this puck here. This is basically the Hex Grip tire dressing applicator from Adams Polishes. A few other companies make them, but uh, this is one of my favorite ones. So it's pretty large, so you can cover. The ergonomics are very good. As you can tell, you can hold it like a puck. You're going to apply your liquid dressing on there and do the contours of the wheels and tires. Uh, however, if you have bigger mud or all-terrain tires, some people like applying some spray dressings because it covers a lot quicker and a lot easier. And for those two types of brushes that I like to use, first of all, this Race Glaze Excel brush, right? Pretty big, as you can tell. So you would apply your spray dressing on the face or a bit on the, the, uh, the face of the brush here and work that in. You can easily or quickly do the contour of your bigger wheels and tires, or even if you have low profile tires for that as well. But this is good for use with a spray on product. And another newer brush that I've been testing that I like a lot is this one here. So this, again, is from the Detail Factory. This is one of their new brushes that they have from a bunch of stuff that you can use for the interior or exterior. But what I like about this, this is like a makeup brush, right? Look at this. So I like to use a spray-on tire dressing with this, and this is perfect, once again, if you have those larger, fatter profile side tires, uh, those mud tires, those all-terrain tires, that kind of thing on a bigger truck or SUV. So you would apply your spray dressing on there and work that in the contours or the sidewalls of your tire, uh, your tires, and it works super quickly and super well. You're gonna get into all the intricate areas, and it's a lot more efficient for those bigger tires. So a lot of you guys often ask, how do you do or how do you apply a tire dressing on those larger side profile tires? Again, mud tires, all-terrain tires, those types of things, right? Uh, so these tend to work very well because you do a quick job of it. Even on my own Porsche with the low profile sports tires, this works fantastically well. And the cool thing, it comes with this uh, holder from the Detail Factory. So when you're done using it, you simply put it on there and that's it. There's a gap here in the bottle. Uh, in the bottom for the thing to drip if need be, or it won't um, dirty the surface that you're putting it on. But I think that's pretty cool. So you have all of those tools to clean your wheels, clean your tires, and of course apply a tire dressing. Now a quick tip that I have, uh, if you want to improve the uh, performance of your wheel cleaning routine for future maintenance washes, so to make those uh, cleanings a lot easier, is to apply some sort of silica spray sealant. Now, of course, you can apply a full-blown ceramic coating onto your wheels. That's the best possible option. Typically, coatings on wheels will last anywhere from 6 to 12 months, but that uh, requires you to do a wheels-off detailing, so to remove the wheels off the body, so you can access the inner barrels as well to coat those. Uh, and, of course, wheel coatings have a tendency to have a higher temperature temperature resistance because in that braking zone area where the wheels are, there's higher temperatures that are reached. So those are very good. But uh, if you guys don't want to remove your wheels or you want something that's super quick to apply, silica spray sealants that are spray on and rinse off formulas. So basically when you're done washing your wheels, you rinse them off and while they're still wet, you're going to use one of these products. You're going to basically spray it on a few sprays. You immediately rinse off with your pressure washer or if you have a garden hose with high enough pressure, you rinse that off and that's it you added ceramic protection that will last two to three months in real world durability tests. Uh, and these are two of my favorites. So this one here, Gion Wet Coat. Once again, this is ready to use. So you spray on, you rinse off and boom, there you go. Your wheels are protected. Uh, and you have this one here, CarPro Hydro 2 Light. The light version means that it's ready to use so you don't have to dilute it. And uh, again, spray on, rinse off, boom, you're good to go. Two to three months of protection. Uh, what this basically does, not only protects against the UV rays, adds slickness, gloss, all that kind of thing, typically like a ceramic product would do, but we're using this more for the hydrophobic properties that it's going to add on your wheels. So the water beating and the water sheeting. 
It's going to prevent uh, dirt and grime from sticking as much. And basically it's gonna make the cleanings a lot easier during your future maintenance washes because even just spraying your wheels off uh, with your pressure washer or garden hose, you're gonna see a lot of that dirt fall off and it's gonna be a lot easier to clean. Uh, now, when you're done cleaning your wheels that are protected with these kinds of spray-on, silica spray-on protectants, uh, you can dry them off using forced air, either from a leaf blower, a car dryer, or at the bare minimum, if you don't have the budget for those bigger blowers, you can have something like this, a small dryer that's made for motorcycles that I love to use for things like wheels, uh, your grills, your emblems, badges, door sills, door jams, basically any nooks and crannies where you get water drippage right when, right when you're done cleaning your car. Uh, this helps to evacuate all the remaining water that's uh, staying in those mirrors again and all those intricate areas and this is perfect for drying your wheels off and because they're protected with the silica spray sealant the water is just going to fly off the wheels and you're going to dry them in a matter of seconds so this one here is the metrovac blaster sidekick so it comes with this rubber tip that will not damage the wheels if you accidentally um if you accidentally hit them and also it comes with this filter in the bottom so it's hot filtered dried air and once again if your wheels are protected with these spray on products you're going to dry them in a matter of seconds now what's the tip to prevent the flash rust right from happening on your wheels typically when you have typical um, discs that are made from iron or ferrous materials like the majority of cars uh, when you're done washing and rinsing your vehicle there is surface rust that starts on the brake rotors and we all hate that because eventually uh, that brake dust that has that surface rust it will eventually fly onto your wheels or your paintwork when you're going to drive off and start braking right so to prevent that as soon as you're done uh, rinsing the vehicle after your final rinse what i recommend is two things the easy one is to drive up and down your driveway while applying your brakes so that's going to dry the brakes off very quickly and then you dry your vehicle afterwards and you should have no surface rust and none of that issue now if you're working in a garage obviously you can't drive up and down in your garage or if you're in inclement weather and you don't want to drive your car outside up and down your driveway what you can use is a thing like this this is the hides serum rust stopper basically this is an anti-rust solution for wheels and braking systems and the use is very easy so you're done washing your car you did your final rinse while the wheels are still wet you're going to take this product you're going to spray directly on the rotors themselves so a light mist uh, you're going to remove any overspray from your wheels with a microfiber towel but that's pretty much it so this here is going to prevent that flash rust from happening on your brake rotors and that way you will not get that surface rust and you won't have an issue uh, again i'll leave links guys by the way to all of these things as i mentioned in the description under the video for you guys to check them out uh, i hope you enjoyed this video if that's the case smash the thumbs up button that always shows me your support support uh, also if you're new to the channel and haven't done so yet consider clicking the subscribe button that's found under this video and that way you'll subscribe to my channel and never miss my future videos so guys thanks for being there thanks for watching and in the meantime don't forget keep it tight keep it clean and i'll see you on the next one